I learned so much through this department. I learned so much through this craft. I learned, you know, um, working as a team, work communication, organization. Um, I also learned this time management issue. Like I had, I had a problem with timing, and so now I am able to know when I have to get things done, like by a certain time. And it's just, I learned so much through this doing theater, and I know that I'm going to use all these skills I picked up through this school and through this department, and use them in my future endeavors in my life and my career. On stage is probably about 10% of what the actual show is. Everything else that goes on behind the scenes is so much more and there's, there's so much more happening and you, you need to embrace that. You could build a set or you can just design lights or if you don't really know how to do very much you can paint things and that's okay. <laughs> and we you we like need acting. more of those. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anyone can do anything here. It's, there's a wide variety of stuff available for us. Yeah. It's definitely a good way to make friends. If you're just coming to the school, you've never been to high school before, it's, you know, you feel more at home here. Right now we're working on getting elevator doors ready. We have our crew here working, which we've already set up a two-story building that is basically our main set piece. We're going to be putting people on top of for all the songs. We have scenes up there. We have people coming in and out of these elevators. And as you can see, we're going to need we need a lot of help with it, but sometimes a small crew is better with getting a lot of these smaller things done. I've been doing lights for about three years, so I'm kind of used to it. During the show, I'll be running this, the main board over here, um, which runs the general illumination and any special areas of the stage that need to be lit up. I started working on the hair and makeup crew um, during Annie Get Your Gun. Um, during my spring and my freshman year and I fell in love with it. I loved working with everyone. I loved learning how to um, turn them into their own characters, not just after their acting, but using hair and makeup as well. And I was trained and I became the head of hair and makeup. Basically what we do is after we see the cast list and even before so, we take a look at all the characters. We get their, our own vision of what we want them to look like and then we'll collaborate with the actors and decide what they're thinking as well and we'll go out and buy beards, like fake facial hair, all the makeup that we need and then we'll teach everyone how to do it and um, that's how we put the show together. Well I always loved musicals and, and uh, you know singing and dancing because my mother is a dance teacher so I grew up with it and I came here and it was the most welcoming part of Madison that I've ever experienced. Cappies, uh, the easiest way to explain is like Tonys for high school. If you don't know what the Tonys are, those are like the Oscars for plays. Uh, I'm a Cappies critic. I go to schools and I watch their Cappies shows, which they select themselves, and I critique them. I write criticisms. I've been published in papers a couple of times, and it's it's just kind of like we score them, and after all the Cappies shows have been performed, all the critics go and they vote on who they want nominated or who they want to win uh, the different awards from you know best musical, best actor, to uh, special effects and lighting and set. Um, and it's really incredible to see what all these schools can do. And it's really great that we have a program like this that schools can really show off what they do best. This is our set shop. We have, um, this is where we store all of our paint for the show. So our paint, this is where we keep most of our tools. We have our paint brushes. We have, this is where also where we've been keeping the props for our show, so we have our props table here. Um, this show is a little different from most shows that we've, been, we've done, is that we're using six like solid main colors that um, are gonna be just kind of splotches of colors throughout the show. So we have, as you can see, our briefcases have been painted different colors. We have typewriters that have been painted different colors, like yellow or red or green or pink or blue. This is the back of our set. Um, you can see we have a set of escape stairs that go upstairs. If you would like to join me upstairs, I can show you a little bit of a view from up here. 
and explain to you what we are doing with our setup here. This is, right here, is where the actors and actresses hide before they have to go into their scenes, but they can stay up here. This um, office in here is our executive CEO, Mr. Bigley's office. You can see out, um, it's going to be painted a light blue. It's going to match the same color as Mrs. Jones' office, which is his secretary. Basically, doing props, it's pretty fun. We um, basically take everything that uh, we find that's being used by an actor or actress in um, any given show and we find it for them or we buy it or we make it and um, they are used on stage and we basically control all of it. The Strangers and asks us to find a lot of things and so we do, we get everything. Some of my favorite props are like uh, Sherlock's knife. It's just a lot of fun trying to find and collect the props and that's basically props group. Probably my favorite thing about it is doing the dancing because um, they've discovered that I have a little bit of an affinity, I guess, to tumbling, which is like backhand springs and round offs and all that stuff, which is probably, it's, it's amazing that people can do that stuff and that I can kind of do that stuff. So it's just, it's great. It's a lot of fun to be in it and everything and just be able to use the skills that I have to help everyone else out. We stay here a lot um, and we do a lot of sewing. And we love our crew, our crew's great. They always help us. And uh, we get a lot of feedback, which is, it's nice. And we love dress rehearsals because we get to see what we've done put on stage. So through my time here, I've gotten a lot of big roles and it's been a lot of fun acting. But I've also gotten this amazing experience working with all different types of tech. I've built sets, I've helped with lights, I've done a little sound work, and you really get everything. To those of you that are interested in doing hair and makeup, it is a ton of fun. You always have free food, we always listen to really good music, and we get to work on everyone. No matter what you're good at, if you're good at you know, hair and makeup, or you, know, you like to sew, or you're building, or even if you don't like being on stage, there's, you can do the lights or the sound or even deck crew, which we need, which is one of the most important parts of the musical or the play. Well, I didn't make my, the show for my freshman year. It was a senior show and I was really upset, but then I joined tech crew and I was, loved it and I fell in love with it. And you know, just go out there, don't be afraid, don't care what other people might think, just, just, you know, just go out there, try out for the show, you participate, get your foot in the door and just, you know, this is a great department and Madison Drama has changed my life. and you know, it'll change yours definitely. And we have kids that come in senior year that try out for their show the first time they make it and they're like, wow, I missed out on all these three years. I could have tried out earlier and now, now I'm too late because I'm going to graduate. And I'm like, yeah, because I started freshman year and I'm like, I'm like, I'm so happy I did because I, all these years and I'm going to miss it so much. And, you know, I hope that whoever is listening to this, you know, try out for the show or sign up for a crew or just participate because it's, it's a great department.